да. Mr. B here. Lewis dot symbols consist of the symbol of the element and one dot for each valence electron. The symbols of the elements may be found on the periodic table. The number of dots to assign to each symbol may be determined in one of two different ways. One way is to observe the electron configuration written on the periodic table for each element. The last number in that element's electron configuration represents the number of dots to use in the dot symbol. Alternatively, the group in which the element is located will also determine the number of dots. However, remember to exclude D block or the transition elements. In this video, I will explain how to write Lewis dot symbols for a variety of atoms as well as the ions of elements. The symbol of the element may be found on the periodic table. For example, the symbol for the element carbon is simply C. The symbol for the element oxygen will be O. When writing your dot symbol, simply use the symbols found on the periodic table. The number of dots found in the dot symbol may be determined in one of two different ways. The number of dots may be determined by observing the electron configuration of the atom. Or the by observing the group in which the atom is located. Remember, when writing Lewis dot symbols, always exclude D block or the transition elements. On some periodic tables, the groups are indicated either by Arabic or Roman numerals. For example, the element boron is found in group 13, or Roman numeral 3a. The Roman numeral 3 indicates the number of valence electrons, thus the number of dots written in the Lewis symbol for boron. However, for the Arabic number 13, simply subtract 10, which will equal 3. So, for the non-metal slide of the periodic table, if your table is only written in Arabic numbers, simply subtract 10 from the indicated number. 13 minus 10 is 3. 14 minus 10 is 4. 15 minus 10 is 5. All the elements in group 15 will possess 5 valence electrons. illustration represents an example of a simple and a complex electron configuration. For a simple electron configuration, for example, the electron configuration for carbon, which is 2,4, the Lewis dot symbol will simply be a C with four dots. However, 
What if the electron configuration written on your periodic table also include the subshells? For example, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p4 represents an element called sulfur. Sulfur is S. Sulfur is found in group 6. To determine the number of dots written in the Lewis dot symbol for sulfur, the entire shell must be added up. So, in this particular electron configuration, the first shell has two electrons, the second shell has eight electrons, and for sulfur, the third shell has six electrons, or sulfur will have six valence electrons. To write the Lewis dot symbol for sulfur, simply write an S surrounded by six dots. Okay, now let's practice writing a few Lewis dot symbols. First of all, let's write the symbol for the element sodium. The symbol for the element sodium, which is found on your periodic table, will be Na. The symbol for magnesium, Mg. The symbol for aluminum, Al. Silicon, Si. Oxygen is O. Bromine is Br. And krypton will be Kr. Sodium is found in group or family 1A. Magnesium, group 2A. Aluminum, group 3A. 4A. 6A. 7A. And 8A. The Lewis dot sum for sodium, therefore, will be Na and 1 dot. Magnesium, Mg, and 2 dot. Aluminum, Al, and three dots. Silicon, Si, and four dots. Oxygen is O, and six dots. Bromine will be Br, I'll just write it over here, Br, and seven dots. And of course, Krypton will be Kr, and eight dots. Krypton with its eight dots is expressing an octet. Since krypton has an octet of electrons, krypton is inert. Thus, group eight or eighteen elements are known as the noble or inert gases. When writing Lewis dot symbols for ions, a different technique is required. First, use brackets and oxidation numbers for each element. Second, do not write dots for metallic elements. For non-metallic elements, always write an octet, or eight dots. For example, for the element sodium, Na, Na is a metallic element, therefore the Lewis dot symbol for sodium contains no dots. Na is written, Na is written inside of brackets and the oxidation number or charge is written outside of the brackets. For the element calcium, which is also a metal, brackets, a Ca, and a charge outside of the brackets. For the element which is a non-metal, P with eight dots written inside of brackets, and the oxidation number, which is a three negative, is written outside of the brackets. In this example, there is an error. This should be an O. However, if O were indicated here, then the correct Lewis dot symbol for O 
would be an O and six dots. The ion would be written as O with a two negative charge and the Lewis dot symbol for the ion would simply be an O with an octet inside of brackets with the charge or a two negative written outside of the bracket. Okay, now let's apply what we've learned. Let's write the Lewis dot symbol for a variety of ions. The ions of sodium, magnesium, aluminum, phosphorus, oxygen, and bromine. The name of the sodium ion is sodium cation, for a cat cation implies that the ion has a positive charge. So to write the Lewis dot symbol for the sodium cation will be Na in brackets, no dots, and the oxidation number written outside of the brackets, which is a plus one since sodium is located in group or family one. Magnesium, another metal. The magnesium cation is written in brackets, no dots, charge outside of the brackets. For aluminum, Al. Phosphorus is a non-metal. So now the ending of the ion will be IDE. So now let's write the Lewis dot symbol for the phosphide anion, where anion implies a negative ion. Brackets, P, and eight dots. Non-metals will always receive eight dots in their Lewis dot symbol. And of course, the charge of phosphorus is a three minus. These oxidation states may be determined, by the way, from your periodic table. Oxygen, oxide anion, eight dots. Brackets, charge outside of This charge also indicates the distance that the element is from the noble gases. Oxygen is in group six. The noble gases are in group eight. Oxygen is two groups away from group A. And finally, bromine, Br, eight dots, with the charge written outside, let me do this better, with the charge written outside of the brackets, so that here. And this is how to write Lewis dot symbols for both the atom of an element as well as the ion of an element.